Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can do passport recovery for Cisco 3653 switches. The first thing you need to do is to push that mode button on the front of the switch for a few seconds so the switch goes to the ROM mode mode. You can see that here that switch is in this mode. The first thing that you should do is to type this command flash in it. It is also mentioned here. So we type flash underline in it it does the initialization of the flash now we can do dir flash so we can see the content of the flash unlike some other switches that we can rename the configuration file this way we can bypass the startup config here we have to enter this command i just copy and paste it here it says ignore the startup configuration of the switch we set the value to 1, so it ignores the configuration. And then the only thing that we need to do is to tell the switch to boot. Now the switch boots, but without the startup configuration. So this way switch looks like a new switch without any password or configuration. So to save our time, I just fast forward this part because it's going to take a long time for switch to boot. And after the boot is finished, I'm going to show you the rest of the process. Now the switch is booted without any configuration. You can see that the host name is switch. We can type enable. It doesn't have any password. And if we type show run, we can see there is no configuration. The only thing that you can see here is the VLANs because VLANs are saved in also another file that we need to delete it if you want to do the reset factory. But beside the VLANs, there is no other configuration here. You can see that the port doesn't have any configuration. If you want to do the password recovery, you can copy the startup config to the running config and then you can change the username and password or the enable secret. And if you want to do the reset factory, you can say write erase to get rid of uh, all the configuration that is what we want to do here if we want to get rid of the vlans we can say show vlan to see what vlans do we have we have from vlan 10 up to vlan 935 and that's it so I want to delete all of them and we go to the global configuration and I say no VLAN 10 937 I believe yeah, that is the last one and now if I type show VLAN again we can see that we just have the default VLANs and nothing else we can also do the DIR flash here And we can see that here we should have a file named vlan.dat. We can delete that file too. Delete flash vlan.dat. We confirm it. So and now we can write the content here. Now we need to go to the ROM mode again and enable the switch to use the startup configuration. Because right now it ignores the startup configuration and it doesn't matter what configuration you do, it doesn't keep that. It comes with the default configuration. So we go to the ROM one, one more time. I rebooted the switch and pushed the mode button again and now we are in the ROM one again. Now we should tell the switch to use the startup configuration whenever it boots. So we need to change this one. You remember that we set the value to 1 so it ignores the startup configuration. Now we need to change it to 0. So I change it to 0 and then I copy it and I paste it here. And then I put the switch again using this command here. This time the switch boots and when it boots it has the startup configuration. So that's it in this video. One thing that we could do to make the video better was to do some configuration changes. 
So in the switch boots, we could verify that the switch really using the startup configuration, but I don't want to make the video longer. You can do it yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video.